Hi guys, Bran here and welcome to another commentary video. Today I wanted to talk about the danger of playing stronger killers and this is going to be a little bit of a weird one because obviously uh, by most people's accounts and you know rightfully so you probably should be playing the stronger killers in the game but I kind of want to break that down a little bit because recently I had somebody uh, in my stream who was a good friend of mine who said they were recently running into problems actually playing and feeling motivated to play most of the killers that they like uh, because they had you know spent a lot of time with a stronger killer and I kind of want to break down why that happens and how you can also avoid that situation because I don't think it's something that a lot of DB players really think about. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So my friend, who I've known for a really, really long time, decided that recently that they were going to main Spirit, which is, you know, if you don't know, uh, the third best character in the game and used to be even stronger. If you want to go watch an, our death of video about the history of Spirit, you can see how bad that gets. <laughs> but Spirit, despite the fact that she has been uh, nerfed, is still the third strongest character in the game. Still a very, very uh, powerful character. And kind of sits head and shoulders above even her fourth and fifth place contemporaries. And they sit up in this place, uh, like with Nurse, with Blight, with Spirit, who have just like these, these really, really absurd movements and add-ons that puts them literally head and shoulders above the other characters uh, that are considered good at the game, like uh, Artis, Wesker, etc. Their movement is so wacky and so crazy that they're essentially up there playing a completely different game from the rest of the characters in Dead by Daylight. Nurse obviously going through walls, blight, absurd speed, essentially shift Wing as a as a as a prospect just doesn't exist against that character. And Spirit is just her movement is also super crazy because of her phasing, and also it's not even like uh, clear where she's going. <laughs> uh, you gotta really have good headphones and listen really well, or else you're just gonna get caught off guard as well. And she still has mother daughtering, which completely just i don't even know how she keeps that out on which makes her even more powerful but essentially what i'm trying to get at is even compared to like artist or wesker or whoever you put in your fourth or fifth place like they're leagues above them leagues above them the way they play the game is completely unique to them and it's almost like you're learning a different game of dead by daylight and the issue my friend was having is when when he had learned spirit and got really really attached to spirit going back and playing other characters he wasn't getting as good of results as he had wanted. He, like, he was getting frustrated. He, 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 I think the exact quote was like, I don't get how you guys play other characters when I can just go and play Spirit and actually, like, do well. Because he was having uh, problems uh, or struggles playing other characters after remaining Spirit for so long and playing mostly Spirit for so long. And I think that in there lies the, uh, the thing that I was talking about, which is that Spirit really does play her own game of Dead by Daylight. And you'll see that a lot with characters like Nurse Blight and her, because the way you are able to just completely shut down loops that other characters have to respect, that other characters have to deal with, like you can just circumvent it with your power really quick. You can hug tech with Blight, Nurse, obviously you just go straight through the darn thing. Spirit, you, you, you phase around and hit them. And it's just like these things that are supposed to be a struggle, that are supposed to be an obstacle to you, just suddenly aren't just specifically because of the character you're playing and the abilities that they have. So when you go down to even somebody like, like Wesker, for example, who is a very, very good character and people keep just discovering tech about him every day. Um, like if you decide to like pre-drop against like, uh, a Wesker. A Wesker still has to respect that. He can vault over the pallet, but he still has to vault over the pallet, and then he's got to put his power away, and he's got to chase to the other side. At least another loop is happening. Like, at least one more loop is guaranteed. In that same situation where you run up to the to the loop and somebody pre-drops, Spirit just phases around, hits them, uh, Blight uh, either hug techs around and hits you, or, or, you know, bounces and breaks the pallet super quickly. Uh, Nurse obviously just goes through the pallet. <laughs> so they, these three characters... Despite being the best, three best characters in the game, they they play the game differently than everybody else. So if you get too accustomed to playing the game the way these three do compared to the rest of the roster, you may be kind of like locking yourself into basically only playing those characters because you get a little bit too cozy with the way they can just shut down loops that other characters cannot because the way they play the game is so different and so atypical compared to most of the killers in the game. I think that's why you see a lot of people who like main nurse get stuck on nurse. You ever, you ever see that? There are players in this community who they'll start maining nurse and they'll never come off nurse ever again. Like they don't want to play other characters and they're, or at least they're extremely reluctant to, is because they're essentially playing a, a different game of Dead by Daylight than the rest of you are. <laughs> they're playing a completely different game of Dead by Daylight than the rest of everybody is. And I, they, in a sense, are losing skill for the game. They're really learning how to play nurse and play nurse's game they're not really they're losing skill with the rest of everyone and it's funny because the same friend because i've known him for a really long time <laughs> he used to say this exact same thing about 
Nemesis. There would be a lot of situations, because he used to main Nemesis before he main Spirit. There was a lot of situations where he would be playing Dead by Daylight, and he'd be, like, playing a different character, like a clown or an M1 killer, and he'd be like, I wish I was just playing Nemesis right now. And that is a whole, like, little sub-area of killers as well, going even further. Not even just talking about the top three, but there are killers, and, and there's a great deal of them. I feel like it's like a third of the roster at this point, that have been specifically designed to circumvent pallets. That's their deal. You got Demo Shred. You have, you know, obviously Nemesis that we just mentioned, you know, tentacle whips through the pallet uh, at tier two and just gets it out of the way and still moves, which is really, really strong. Um, you can even include Skull Merchant in that. You know, Skull Merchants don't chase. Let's not, let's not, let's not be funny about Skull Merchants don't chase. They put their little drone up in the middle of a chase and that either forces you away. Obviously, Artist we talked about earlier. Artist puts one bird at one end of the loop and him and, and her at the other, and it's a lose lose. Dredge does the exact same thing, just a little bit. He has to do it melee, so it's a little bit more complicated. Basically, a third of the roster now is built in some way to just deal with pallets, whether that be, you know, make the loop useless or, you know, just smack the pallet out of the way super quickly. And there, it's hard to think with, especially with like a third of the roster having some sort of ability like that nowadays, that there's a great deal of the roster as well. A bunch of M1 killers who kind of just don't have that ability. Like they just have nothing. Like like Myers, if if you bring a drop against a Myers, he just goes, okay, I guess I have to kick that now. <laughs> you know, like even against Cloud, who has ways to kind of circumvent because he has the the slowdown to beat you around the loop. If you just pre drop against the Cloud, for the most part, he's just gonna go, okay, I guess I just have to kick that. <laughs> same with same with Trapper, he can shut down loops with his traps. But if there's a trap, it's not there. If he didn't put a trap to that specific loop, he just goes, all right, I, I, I guess I just gotta kick that. You know. There's a whole group of characters who just like have no way to deal with pallet loops like that to circumvent them at all. They just they just don't have a way to do it. They just don't. So like when he would go from Nemesis down to other characters that don't have those abilities, even though he Nemesis is like a B tier character, not even a top three, it was still disorienting and, 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 and you know, on the surface, frustrating to play them because, you know, we had gotten so accustomed to having some sort of pallet utility in our base kits. That when we didn't have it, it was like, oh, God, what happened? Oh, God, what was that? You know, like, what do I do now? And I think that's just like, if I'm trying to make a point with all this, I think it's just a word of caution, a word of caution. I'm not telling you not to play these characters, but kind of just be mindful while playing these characters, especially if you're playing top three nurse, blight, spirit, that the way you play the game is not the way the rest of the characters in the game play the video game. And if you're going to be somebody who isn't going to be like a, a main one character, Andy, or at least going to be like maining at least one of the top three, or at least going to be maining like multiple of the top three, you got to understand that they play a game that's completely separate from the rest of the characters in Dead by Daylight. Even going in down into like, uh, you know, down to the, the, the pallet circumventers, the anti pallet base kits, they have abilities that the M1 killers don't have. So don't get too accustomed to those things if you plan to be playing a great deal of the roster because you're gonna find that you're gonna be struggling if you get too accustomed to just always having a way to deal with pallets, always having a way to deal with the things that like the, the actual video game itself, the actual dead by daylight killer gameplay, the killer fundamentals that you have to know to be good at the game. If you get too accustomed to those other things and never ever hold on to your fundamentals, you will lose them over time. You will lose them over time. You will get less skilled at playing the game of Dead by Daylight if you focus too much on just playing very strong base kits that circumvent the need for fundamentals. So just keep that in mind. You can do that. I'm not saying, like, don't do it. Like, you can do that if you want. If you just want a main nurse and only play nurse, like, you know, knock, knock your socks off. Do whatever you want, you know? But just keep in mind that if you get a little too attached to that and ends up being all you play for a while, you're probably going to suck as the other characters in the game because you're a little too used to just being able to just phase through the tile. Just, hey, now I'm on the other side of the wall. You get a little too cozy uh, with that. So, yeah, just just be a little careful and understand that, you know, it may come at the cost of other things. Other than that, that's it for today's video, friends. Thank you so much for watching and spending time with me today. But I do upload daily, so I will see you tomorrow. But if I do not, I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye.